Hello there! Scylla is most commonly known as a sea monster that took six of Odysseus's men. However, she was not always the menacing sea creature that we know her as today. This is the heartbreaking love story of Glaucus and Scylla. One glorious day, Glaucus is enjoying a fishing trip along the river. Oh, a catch! Whoa! There must be something weird about these herbs. I should eat them. Glaucus suddenly feels a strange urge to jump into the river. Wow, I have a sudden urge to jump into the river. Glaucus is greeted by the sea gods in the water. Welcome to our realm, Glaucus. You will now live the immortal life of a sea god. Thank you, I accept to live the immortal life of a sea god. <laughs> the gods spray Glaucus with jets of water, washing away all mortality from him. He undergoes a magnificent transformation. By it is Scylla the nymph. Oh, my suit! You're very pretty. I like you. Oh, my God, you're so creepy. Go away. I don't like you. Scylla tries to flee but finds herself trapped at the edge of a cliff. Come back! Come back! Come back! Wait! Wait! <gasps> oh no! I'm trapped! Scylla, why won't you accept my love? I'm here with open arms and an open heart. We can go and run away and live together forever. Glaucus has no choice but to go to the enchantress Circe to beg for help in his troubled love life. <laughs> Glaucus's intrusion catches Cersei by surprise. You should probably not have time to scare him to death! So, what else did you come with Um, I need a love potion. It's super this one. But I want this to be a potion. It is still a little. You cannot love anyone but me. You belong to me! After Glaucus leaves Cersei's lair, Cersei brews up a special potion. A few days later, we find Scylla enjoying her daily swim. Here's your potion, Glaucus. This is what you get for breaking my heart. Cersei's potion transforms Scylla into a terrifying flesh-eating monster. Horrified by her appearance, Scylla retreats to the nearest cave and spends the rest of her life there, destroying ships and eating their men.